Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering University of Georgia taking on the University of Alabama live from Tuscaloosa. This week, we have a big matchup in college football, the number two ranked team against the number four ranked team in college football. And there are significant ramifications when it comes to the college football playoff, SEC standings, and overall bragging rights. When you come over to this side, you have Kirby Smart versus Kalen DeBoer, and you're looking at what Kalen DeBoer has done since Nick Saban has left. He's been uh, phenomenal in recruiting. He's been phenomenal in getting guys in, getting guys to buy back into the program and make sure they're not transferring out the portal when Nick Saban left. He's also shored up the defense a little bit with a couple of transfer recruits. And you're looking at Jalen Milrow, his dual threat quarterback that not only is moving and shifting and making sure that defenses are having trouble tackling him, but he's making sure the run game is open up for Jam Miller. This is going to be the bread and butter, which is uh, Jalen and Jam Miller, the one-two punch for Alabama. They're going to have to run the ball a lot against Georgia. Passing the ball is not going to be something that I think they're going to be able to do because Georgia's defense is reloaded. Georgia's defense is stymie, and they, they do things to slow people down. Yes, they've had a, a, a close game against Kentucky, but you got to think the remainder of the game that they've had have been solid. They've been uh, uh, good in their overall execution of plays. Carson Beck has been amazing for Georgia as far as putting the guys in the right position for the wide receivers to get it. Uh, Trevor Eatney, little brother of Eatney that's in college. I mean, Eatney that's with the Jaguars. The younger, bro the younger brother, Trevor, is a, a Swiss Army knife. He can catch. He can block. He can uh, pass protect. He can also run the ball. You have Georgia with a talented squad. What it's going to come down to is which running back is going to run the ball better. You know that Jalen Milrow is going to run the ball, and he's going to get his passing yards. Carson Beck's going to do the same thing. But who's going to run the ball more effectively? Will Georgia be able to run the ball more effectively than Alabama in Tuscaloosa? That's a tough test, and that's a tall test. And I think the Georgia Bulldogs have that in mind. They're going to load up the box. They're going to get that big offensive line, a big, strong offensive lineman, get an additional one on there with the tight end, and they're going to run the ball at Alabama. Alabama's weakness, as we've seen up front, is going to be the run game. When you're thinking about some of the teams that they've faced so far, yes, they've won all their games, but they've struggled a little bit stopping the run against some of these teams that have dual-threat quarterbacks or either running backs that are smoother running backs that, that don't do the juking stuff, but they hit the one cut and they're downhill. University of Alabama is going to have to protect that because if they don't get that done, University of Georgia will run for 300 yards and pass for almost 300 yards as well. I'm picking the University of Georgia to get the win on the road against Alabama. I think Kirby Smart is a better coach than Kalen DeBoer. I think the in-game adjustments are going to be bigger for the University of Georgia. They have bigger offensive linemen. They have stronger offensive linemen. And I think that the uh, the, the monsters in the middle, the, the, the road raiders in the middle, if you will, for Georgia, are going to win that offensive-defensive battle in the trenches. So this is where this game is going to be really picked up in one. The X factors are going to be the uh, running backs in this one, and the quarterbacks are going to be the icing on the cake. I think uh, Carson Beck and Jalen Monroe will have good games, not great games, but good games, because they're going to be playing. It's going to be a lot of tension. It's going to be a lot of talent everywhere. So I'm picking the University of Georgia to win this one against Alabama. All you Georgia Bulldogs fans, get in the comment section below. All you Alabama fans, roll tide. Get in the uh, uh, comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus, and we'll see you on the very next episode.